The Sean Penn Chapo Guzman interview is flooding the headlines, but little is known about the woman behind this interview, Kate Del Castillo, a Mexican actress famous for her work in telenovelas and soap operas, but now, of, as of late, working more and more roles about a kingpin, being a kingpin and being outspoken about her admiration, if you will, for El Chapo and her critical stance about the Mexican government. And Sasha, this is, this is something that adds to this controversy because Kate Del Castillo uh, became really famous back around 2012 when she did an open letter criticizing the government, criticizing institutions like the church, marriage, and in between that saying, hey, Chapo, come on, instead of trafficking with women, instead of trafficking with drugs, why don't you traffic with love? Why don't you start doing things for the community? And she got a lot of backlash. But at the same time, later on, she said, well, the reality is that El Chapo, at least, is honest about his intentions. He's honest about his business. Instead, the Mexican government is as criminal, yet they try to hide it. They try to make the people believe that they're working for the people, but in reality, they're as criminals as El Chapo. Well, it seems that there's a huge public discourse playing out uh, over Twitter, over social media. The Mexican president tweeted that they found El Chapo before he even addressed the public. So. What is going on? What are people saying about well, this? Well, back down in Mexico, people are feeling, in one side, they're feeling uh, really angry because they are not buying this. They actually came up with a hashtag called No Sean Pendejos, No Sean Pendejos, including the name of the actor into the phrase that translates pretty much as don't be stupid. Don't be stupid enough to buy into this theater, into this fallacy of a capture that really means nothing to the benefit of Mexico in this moment. Uh, First of all, there's a lot of Mexican journalists that are really angry at this situation, having Sean Penn with uh, maybe a Hollywood activism, if you will, coming to the country where hundreds, if not thousands, of Mexican journalists die trying to do their job, trying to come into the, into the local papers, in the regional papers, denounce the organized crime, they get killed. Uh, Self-censorship is a survival tool for many journalistic outlets in Mexico. So there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of... Uh, invitation for people not to believe into this uh, charade because it, it's for many it's very personal because many journalists in Mexico uh, have to work under the shadow of, of fear and death threats and then to hear that you know Sean Penn broker through another actress they get the, the, the opportunity to talk to El Chapo it's, it's hard it's a hard you know pill to swallow for many. And there's a lot of criticism coming from you know some Americans last night on the Golden Globes Ricky Gervais uh, criticized in a very passing moment, but Sean Penn about, you know, don't be a snitch sort of thing. So I think that there is a little bit of backlash brewing amongst people in the United States and in other countries as well with this, because to your point, you know, there is a regime of fear that's happening. These Mexican journalists are being killed. They can't speak out openly. And so for the credit of exposing this to go to someone who is an outsider, it's sort of just this how do you explain Hollywood being able to find El Chapo when all of these federal authorities could not? Exactly, and to, to that we have to understand that also El Chapo has a big part of it. Uh, very much like in the early 1900s, Pancho Villa, the famous Mexican revolutionary, did a deal with D.W. Griffith to be able to receive money in exchange of having the Hollywood cameras recording the, the militia. Uh, now we see that Hollywood is able to connect with the drug dealer to make a biopic, and because many were very, very uh, aware of the wish of El Chapo to create a biopic and tell his side of the story, that regardless of where you stand feeling that El Chapo is it's a folk hero for many Mexicans because of the work that he's done at the social level in those communities where he traffics with drugs, or we decide that he's a criminal, and he's a criminal that is, at least at the public opinion, uh, an enemy of both countries, the United States and Mexico. And then yet you have an influential from Hollywood being able to have in Rolling Stone, which for that matter, Rolling Stone has not the best track with the rape story that, that sure. they put out. So this is, for me, it's another way to sell magazines. Yet it's also a Mexican celebrity, Kate Del Castillo, the one that initiated this contact in between Sean Penn and El Chapo Guzman. And now we see that Hollywood is able to find El Chapo Guzman and many journalists in Mexico lose their life trying to do so.